Yo, yo, guys, back here with another video of get to the top, I believe. And oh no, yes, two uploads in one day. My camera cut off, so I had to recharge it. Come on. I think I know how to beat this part. As y'all saw in the uh, last video, I clutched it up and I played a little court music. Come on now. Uh, no. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002. Oh, and I know The author of that game was Jazzor, a mysterious check designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. You know, I don't understand anything you're saying, but you know, inspirational. <coughs> oh, that was a nice little speech. If you know what I mean. And no, no, guys, not that way, bro. No. Mm. <sighs> oh, my freaking cousin is mean. Wow. Man, I can try it. This kid is so trash in Fortnite. But he has a clan. So, you know, I joined by clapping one of our friends. You just have to 1v1 someone and beat them. Like, it's so simple, bro. Yeah, I play Fortnite too. I be on before. I be on before. It was just random kid and I was one of the ones like and I was in the game and I was like You know what? I might just play 60 seconds of survival. And I know everyone knows that freaking game. And this is stupid. No, <laughs> it's not working. Hold on, let me see about this. Oh. Nope, no, 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 no. 
Why would I make that stupid decision? Who knows? Who knows? No, 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 no. Mm. You can hit the escape key if you need to change the mouse sensitivity. Am I? Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Be quiet, you're no help. Oof, sorry about that. No, shut up. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. And I'm getting beamed. Why I'm getting beamed by a whole other thing, Yeah, I'm pressing. This is way. I might even download Minecraft and start doing some freaking Minecraft. After it's I so get, garbage. bro, shut up, kid. Nigga, no, you shut up, bot. Kid, you can't beat me. Get on there, let me once we see your account. Bro, go. I will destroy you, kid. Right, let's go. Be quiet, bro. Stop, no. Cause what if you do win? Or do you get my account? I barely got some skins to sell. Ask JD. Oh, they already hold me an account anyway. Then just set a count. I can't beat it. Who, me? No. Oh, JD. Hey, he 
you got on.